Maybe there's something about the role of Martin Riggs that leads to trouble. Originally introduced in the 1987 buddy cop movie Lethal Weapon, the Green Beret turned emotionally unbalanced detective was made famous by Mel Gibson. Playing opposite Danny Glover as a straight-laced Roger Murtaugh, the movie was a crowd-pleasing hit that spawned three sequels through the 80s and 90s, eventually finding its way to rebirth as a TV show on Fox in 2016. Clayne Crawford and Damon Wayans stepped into the roles of Riggs and Murtaugh for the TV series, bringing a chemistry that critics praised. But behind the scenes, things weren't quite so rosy. After weeks of rumored on-set tensions, Fox announced that Crawford would not be returning to Lethal Weapon's third season, replacing him instead with Sean William Scott. It's a remarkable move for an established series to make. Here are the real reasons why it happened. Anger Management News of Lethal Weapon's uncertain future first broke in late April when Deadline reported that the well-performing series was in danger of cancellation, allegedly due to Clay Crawford's onset behavior. According to the report, Crawford had gained a reputation of emotional abuse against fellow cast and crew, contributing to a hostile work environment that threatened to single-handedly sink the series. The report also said that Crawford had been disciplined several times for his behavior. Crawford addressed the report in a statement on Instagram, confirming that he had been reprimanded twice during production. According to the actor, I reacted with anger over working conditions that did not feel safe or conducive to good work. On Set Safety the drama came to a head after the announcement of Crawford's firing, which occurred just before the second season's final episode. In response to questions and outcry from disappointed fans, Damon Wayans took to Twitter to shed some light on the onset issues. Wayans had set his account to private in the wake of the firing, then unlocked it to advance the case against his former co-star. Afterwards, he deleted his Twitter presence entirely. Wayans' primary piece of evidence against Crawford came in the form of photos and a video taken during production of an episode that Crawford not only starred in, but directed. It seems that during the filming of a shootout action sequence, Wayans was struck in the back of the head by shrapnel from an effect gone awry, tagging his tweets with phrases like, directed by Clayne Crawford, and no apology. Wayans made it clear that he blamed his co-star for an inadequate level of safety when placed in charge. See now, what we have here is a failure to communicate! Spilled Tea Wayans went on to reveal an alleged history of misdeeds by Crawford and the anxiety that the rest of the cast and crew felt in his presence. Citing a file of infractions and appealing to Warner Brothers Entertainment for help, Wayans broadened his accusations, stating, "...it wasn't just me." He then shared a photo of a sticker that he claimed other people had placed around the Warner Brothers lot, emblazoned with the words, "...Clay and Crawford is an emotional terrorist." Another specific offense cited by Wayans was a claim that Crawford hit another actor in the mouth with a bottle of green tea and busted did his mouth open. Wayans tagged the accusation, not an accident. Riggs is ready to go. Just as in the original film, the TV series Martin Riggs enters the story while grieving over the loss of his wife. And just as in Lethal Weapon 2, he eventually discovers that a drug lord is responsible for her death and sets out for vengeance. The second season found him bringing the killer to justice, bringing closure to the character's primary arc, if not all of his neuroses. As Crawford explained in an interview with Assignment X, we can't play on the death for four seasons. Though he went on to explain that the show would be planting little seeds as to the character's future, the season finale ended with the cliff hanger that had him shot in the chest by his half-brother. With Riggs' revenge plot wrapped up and his life hanging in the balance, writing Crawford out of the show likely doesn't present Lethal Weapon's writers with much of a challenge. Moving on Perhaps mindful of his growing reputation for tension, Crawford put on a pleasant, if slightly snarky, front in the wake of his firing. As news first broke that Fox was searching for a replacement, he took to Twitter to share a playfully shrugging selfie, captioned simply, hmm? He followed this with a separate tweet, reading, wait, 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 you can't fire me on my day off. A more solemn Instagram post followed, in which Crawford expressed sincere thanks to the fans and congratulations to the cast and crew on the show's renewal. Whatever happens next for Crawford, it seems possible that Lethal Weapon's days of drama, at least the kind behind the camera, may well be over. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.